Today we're going with three vintage flat fender Jeeps on the double Sammy trail in Sand Hollow during the winter 4x4 Jamboree 2023. Before we got right to double Sammy, we went and spent a little time on this little thing. I think they call it the Sand Hollow Lion's Back. Pretty steep little climb. This yellow Jeep is Wade Rogers. 1950 CJ3A. Careful, he's at pretty the steep top. little climb on this side, even steeper and longer in the descent on the other side. This is Jeff Petrovich in his 1943 MB. He calls Bam Bam. <laughs> just, just, just remember to tuck and roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep your hands in, that's for sure. I'm Stan Fuller. This is me in my 1948 CJ 2A. I call Grandpa's Jeep. That's my sister Amy going down this steep slope with me. This thing can get a little hairy if you're not careful. There's a hole right oh, down sweet. in the bottom. If you drop a tire in it, you can get some crazy tire lift. I would go driver now. And just... That looks good. Real good. Here's Wade coming down, shot from the bottom. You can get a little better idea how steep it is. Wade gets a little bit of a drop into the hole and gets a little bit of tire lift. Jeff and Bam Bam. Jeff decides to turn around and climb back up it while Wade and I went around the other side on the sand. We had a little trouble in the soft sand here.
That's me in the background taking a phone call right at the same time. Go up one gear at least, don't you? I think there's rock underneath that right there. You're too scared, too high. There you go. It's going. It's going. Keep driver, our passenger, I mean, come this way. Wade gets through the sand and we get around to the double Sammy gatekeeper obstacle. Punch it! Wet sand sticking to your tires and to the rocks. Made it quite slippery this day. Back up to get a good run at it. Next. Hey, you turning right? Are you turning right? Looks like it. Your turn signal. I got stuck in the sand. I had to let people know. Okay. This right around the corner from the gatekeeper. Wade on the same obstacle from the other side. This is an op optional obstacle further along the trail. way anyway. Aim this way a little. I decided to bail out right here and not go clear to the top. But Wade and Jeff went ahead and climbed over the top. This is Wade going over the very top of this obstacle. And here's Jeff going from the bottom all the way to the top.
Yeah. Go straight, it go straight up and then hook it. I think you're okay. This is an optional obstacle where a couple of years ago in Grandpa's Jeep I was trying this right here in this little wedge and my wheel fell off. <laughs> you can see that adventure in a video called the Double Sammy Blues. Just come on up on here. On my channel. If you can. Jeff on that same obstacle. A little further along the trail, I made a silly mistake and dropped a tire off of the little step and flopped Grandpa's Jeep on his side. It was into a soft, sandy spot. No damage done. Nobody hurt. We put a winch line on the, on the back of the Jeep to keep it from rolling down the hill farther and one on the side up to the roll bar to flip it back down on its wheels. I'll stay out, thanks. Had to work a little to get the wheels turned downhill. Little oil got on the pistons, had to blow that out. About ten minutes or so, and we are back at it. Finish up the day with Jeff climbing this optional obstacle that goes out to kind of the parking area by the chute. That's it. Thanks for watching.